Hey, what's up, what's up? Welcome everyone, welcome to this channel. Here is Ikagen Senin. On today's video, we are going to see how to obtain the Genjutsu Trap and also the Resuscitation Trap. Both of them will help you to defend your fortress when you are under attack from other shinobis or other village. Also, we are going to see where you can get them and how you can use it in your fortress. So, let's see it. Okay, so where can you get these traps? Well, first things first, we need to go to our shop and the shop is this thing that is in the middle of your village. It depends on the level of your village, how will this shop look? So we go there and once we, once we are here, we can see that there are many things, but we are going to focus where it says Fortress Metal Shop, okay, in the left. So we can, he we can see here that there are many tramps, there is also the Genjutsu Tramp, Gamakichi, Time Bob, the Resuscitation Ninja Trap, and this house that is also a trap. And also we have here the Hero Fragments, which will help us to improve the level of Orishinobis and to give them another star. Okay, so in this, in this shop we can buy uh, a lot of things. So for example this trap, which is this house, which uh, trap the enemy and also recovers the HP of the enemy but it's very useful because it uh, makes that the enemy lose time Gamachi which I don't use because I think he is very weak and it depends on your fortress the time bug uh, it's it's also useful I also don't use it but it depends on how you locate it and how is your fortress you know it depends and we have here the ball of this trap, the Genjutsu trap and the Resuscitation Ninja trap. As you can see I cannot purchase another one because I already have both of them. Uh, so for example the Genjutsu trap is really useful because as you can see inflicts confusion and seal to the floor area at regular intervals. It will help you to defeat the ninjas. So let's see in my village how this trap can work. Here we are with Sasuke in my fortress, so I'm going to enter this, this room to see how this trap works. As you can see in the upper left there is a trap, so it already sealed me, I cannot use any, any jutsu. Let's wait, here is again, uh, Sasuke is confused and also without, uh, without any jutsu. So let's try to defeat Indra which is in this floor, let's fight. Okay. Okay, Indra already sealed me and the trap already inflicts confusion on Sasuke. So let's try, let's try, let's try, okay. Oh, yeah, as you can see, it's, this trap is very useful because it it doesn't allow you to uh, to use any jutsu. And I am already defeated. Okay, so as you can see, that trap is really useful. And the next trap we are going to see is the resuscitation trap which I also have in my fortress, is this one. So this trap will resuscitate the ninja in the floor. So you need to defeat uh, the ninja twice in order to, to, to defeat this trap. Let's see. Here we are again in my fortress with Sasuke. And as you can see, there is my resuscitation trap. So where is Kei Naruto? Okay, let's try to <laughs> defeat him because he's really strong. Let's defeat him with my ultimate. Okay, he is already defeated, but as you can see, uh, the barrier still. So I need to defeat him another time. Okay, let's try, let's try this. Okay, he's already defeated, and as you can see, uh, I still have in the upper right these red things where. They are telling me that I need to defeat the other four ninjas. So, for example, here I need to defeat Sasuke, which is here. Okay, let's try to defeat him. So, that's the advantage of the resuscitation ninja trap. Because uh, you can have five ninjas in your fortress. But that doesn't mean that if you defeat the ninja that is in the resuscitation trap, you will weak 
the the final barrier okay so it's like uh, that ninja doesn't count but that ninja can also defeat you so it's really helpful it's a really helpful trap so as you can see here i only have two two ninjas left so that's the use for this resuscitation ninja trap okay uh, both of them the ginjutsu trap and the resuscitation trap are really useful so as you can remember here also we have the hero fragments of all the shinobis that are in the game well mostly all of them um, here you can buy uh, the hero fragments that you need to awaken your shinobis I, I think that I'm gonna buy some fragments for Pain because I need 20 I think so to have him in in the level 6 okay so as you can see here you can buy uh, the, hero arm, the hero fragments that you want and where can you obtain these coins to buy these uh, hero fragments and these traps where you can obtain them uh, by playing the attack missions because when you finish the attack mission as we're going to see here for example I'm I only need to clear this final room and we are going to see what rewards the game gives me so let's do it Hashirama okay Hashirama Hashirama already is your ring so I'm gonna enter and finish them <laughs> okay uh, oh there is one left it was Hashirama okay so we're going to see what rewards the game gives you when you finish these attack missions okay okay let's see okay so here you can obtain these coins and if for example if you eliminate all the enemies on the battlefield they give you more coins if all of your shinobi survive they also give you more coins and and also you can acquire experience which allows you to 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 increase your level so not only that and you can obtain more of these coins Play by playing these attack missions for example here here you can see that we also have more coins they also give you money, chakra, shinobi points and the other points for the league reward okay so by playing the attack mission is how you can obtain these, these coins and also there are some missions in the history mode or special missions where you play and they give you these coins but the most effective way to obtain them is by playing the attack missions and once you have enough of these coins you can come here and buy the genjutsu trap the resuscitation trap or the hero fragments that you need to increase the level of your shinobis okay so well i think this was all i hope this video has been helpful and if you like the video don't forget to give your thumbs up to subscribe to the channel and See you again another time.